<laughs> That's gonna be fun. This thing's gonna be a riot. <laughs> All right, it's morning again. Seems like it was just night not long ago, but here we are. We're back working on the tow truck. So we got a bunch of little loose ends to fix and to finish and to make work. Intercooler has to be plumbed. Bottom radiator hose has to be put on, throttle cable, hood, and the whole bunch of wiring. So we'll get going. So we took the factory throttle and loose it. We took this out. Great big square. This would have just pushed right through the firewall. So we just need a washer so it'll catch. So if you'll hold it in on this side, or maybe I'll hold it in. Yeah, if you want to crawl under the dash. Good. Make yeah. Hunter do the dirty work under the dash. He's good at it. Push that back through it, and okay. we'll see how far we've got to cut this cable off to make it work. Go for it. No, I'll trade. video you. How about it? Even the cat in there. Don't worry, we're close. <laughs> Anticipating it popping out there anytime. Got it where you need it. So we just need a couple inches, which we should be able to get. Oh yeah, handily, and it won't hurt anything. All right, pull that cable back inside of there just a little. Got it pulled in. Okay, push that back out. Throttle is on. Now, on to the rest. What are we doing? Trying to fish the dipstick in, but between the starter cables and the header, I can't see it. So we're gonna see if we can see it from down below. Oh, that looks fun. I may have shorted it out on the starter once already trying to put it down oh, in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna buzz the starter out real quick. It'll be a lot easier, but we're hitting the drive line. What size of wall will you need? Three eighths. Does that look right? That's way straighter. There we go. That's better? Yep. <laughs> yep, that. That'll get you there. Push it down. Got it. Perfect. So this supercharger is intercooled. It has water that runs through it. And it can't be water from the radiator. It has to be from a separate place. So we already have the cooler setting on the back of this. It was plumbed in. Now we're just plumbing it to the intercooler and not to the motor like it was. I am drilling holes. I got to drill right here in the back of the water pump for this little steam tube to go to. I'm going to go find drill and tap and get that done. Oh, nothing like drilling a hole in a $300 water pump. Got it. Is it just long enough? I think that's gonna work perfect. The external cooler under the bed in the back is just loop plumbed together, but now it will be isolated. So now we can make a heater hose for the engine, not to the back. So before we needed extra help cooling the big block, well, originally we had it set up as a hydraulic cooler when it was PTO driven. Oh, yeah. And we didn't want to take it off, so we swapped it over to cooling lines and we ran the heater hose back to it, so the big block was getting extra cooling. Now I need it for the Whipple charger. That Deep down trying. inside, I knew I needed that cooler back there, so we built it. <laughs> now it's for its purpose. It's power. Horse ponies. Little tap magic. Get a lot of tap magic. All right, done. That was painless. All right, there's some stuff in the way there. Got it. So why do you have to connect those two? It, this is a steam port, and oh. usually it goes up and hooks to the intake, but we don't currently have that intake on this rig anymore, so there's nowhere to hook the steam port. So you just plumb it into the water pump where it can get some flow, and it's good. It's good. <laughs> I 
That's in. Cute little feller. Now what? Put a hose clamp, and then we'll build a heater hose from the heater core to the water pump. So I've got it on the truck side. Just got our length cut, and that should seal the LS up right there. I just got off the phone with Greg down at Primal Premier Power Welders. Man, that was a mouthful for some reason. We're working on, I think this is just a normal LS alternator. Hopefully he can get us the alternator we need that'll plug in and the welder will work great still. I think I've solved my air compressor problems. Should be here next week. It's, uh, it's stupid expensive to get an air compressor that's 12 volt that'll put out some air, but it should fix my problems. So the plan is we're gonna get everything buttoned up, air cleaner all built, everything like that done. We're gonna run it up to Chad's and he's gonna throw, get the basic tune done on it. And then we're gonna jump it on a trailer and take it to Havasu and get Brian Macy to uh, finish it off on the dyno and have everything perfect. So that's the plan. We'll see how the plan varies from here till then, but that's what we got. Okay, that one went there and then did it hook over there? All right. It's terribly ugly, whoever built that. Good enough though. Okay, and then we got one more wherever it is that hooks to there, comes out and hooks into the pump. And then this one hooks to the pump somehow. And then there's, there's never ending stuff to change. This was plumb before, right? Yeah, we never just never charged, never charged it. it. We backed it down and it held. It held back. And then we had belt issues. Oh yeah. And needed extra. Yeah. Had a lot of belt issues on this yeah. thing. They were kicking our butt there for a couple of days. We actually kind of had them sorted out. There's, There's such a thing as lawnmower serpentine belts. <laughs> they could send us. <laughs> they send us lawnmower serp belts. Click, click. And click, click. We are getting some AC dealt with. It may not be permanently dealt with here because this is terrible looking. We may have to do some manufacturing of some better lines than this. I didn't put an O-ring on that, just in case you were just barely wondering. Nope. I talked about it, talked about it, looked at it, just put it right on without it. What's the most important gauge in the truck? Um, oil pressure? Yeah, probably oil pressure. How about that one? That's pretty cool. Well, that's I, pretty important. I like blower. Blower, that's gonna be sweet. So Paul took this out. This was the vent for the heater. Not gonna be a heater anymore. But yeah, there's, that's where we have room, but it won't quite fit. We can move the ducting for the heater so it blows AC on the passenger better anyways. So we just got to ream that bigger, not too much, eighth inch. It's going to be loud. Five more minutes of that and then it'll fit. Five minutes later. I like the looks of that. That's sweet. Probably not much over 10. I have no idea what to expect. Chad figured stock bottom end much over 12 would be a lot. Let's get that bolted in and hooked up. That's like under dash position. I think it's your turn. You're making fun of a fat guy right here. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> So get him, Landon. He's vulnerable Don't right do now. It. What? Get him. You're starting to turn red a little bit. <sighs> I know. <laughs> there we go. Got it. All right. Is it turned right? Yeah. Like, can we tighten it? Is it perfect? Okay. All right. Sweet. Now when you shut that off, I'll get out of here so you're not <laughs> watching me. <laughs> Not enjoyable. Son of a gun. <laughs> well, good job. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'm building lines for the fan. We're getting places right now, currently. I've got power. <laughs> Come hold this for me for a second. Just don't let it. 
Yeah. Oh! I almost got you, Hunter. Alright. Cut that off right there. We were trying to do a little welding before it was time to do some welding. I don't know how I'm gonna get these down inside of this without. Give me that black tape that's right there. I seem, uh, I feel way better about that. Saying this isn't entertaining. I like watching you like shrink it or whatever. <laughs> Let's see if I got a bigger piece. We're hooking up the boost gauge. Threaded the adapter in the back of this blower. Did you get to it? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's down low. She is, it's it's down in there. Right before oh, the that's, head. That's hot, how come that didn't shrink up all the way? I'm gonna let that cool <laughs> off a bit. It's <laughs> one more time. Yeah. It's warm, man. I'm gonna mount this thing down. Right over. Right there. Hurt. I knew I it's, needed to do that. It's hardwired. Dude, I just heat shrink this whole thing in. Oh. Dang it. You did a dang good job though. Yeah. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I did do a dang good job, Hunter. Thank you for noticing. Tim sent us some homemade tortilla chips. Now I want some salsa. We'll eat it. Who's this from? Chico Sticks. Or Chico Sticks. That is from Tony and Kim from Texas. Thank you guys. You gotta lift that up. Yeah, it's gotta lift. Alright, you should be able to get your side in. Pull down. Alright. Do this other side. Alright, hood's on it. So obviously we're not done done. There's no air cleaners. We're waiting for parts. So we're as done as we're gonna be with this today. We'll roll it out of here and get on to something else. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> we gotta get her tuned and get the cam. It's not seeing the cam sensor currently. We gotta cut some wires and figure that out. This thing's gonna be a riot. <laughs> All right, I'm back on the tow truck. I only got some parts to show up. We're gonna get this done. So, Premier Power Welders, they came through, sent me an alternator that is gonna plug in and hook to my original stuff in the truck and mount where this one is. Then I'll take this one send it right back to them. They'll fix it so it'll weld and we'll have a backup for this truck. So we're getting closer. Uh, radiator ho rad hoses are all on it. I'm gonna swap this out real quick and then we gotta get air cleaners on. I've built this system right there. I'll show you a little more about that. I think one air cleaner is not gonna do it with this thing sucking some serious air. So we're gonna split it We'll put one air cleaner here, one air cleaner back there. Should pull enough air and keep this thing nice and cool running. And yeah, that's what I think. We'll see, we got stuff to do. All right, I didn't bore you with the alternator installation. You've all seen an alternator get put in. I got a length and a couple of wires for the charge and the weld system because the alternator used to be on this side over here. So we'll get those ran up and across. 
I got a project I got to build for Jace real quick for his truck. We got to TIG weld a little block up for air. We're basically building this piece right here for his truck. So we'll get that TIGged up and then uh, back on this. All right, pretty straightforward. Just got a six inch piece of square tube. We're going to cap the ends of it and then we'll drill and tap it and make us an air manifold. Put his front air locker solenoid in it to the bumper. We'll get that all tigged up. We'll show you, he'll get it installed. And then his truck's pretty close to being done. He's driving it. So things are looking good on it. All right, we're getting this thing tigged up. He'll be tapping it in no time. All right, so I was under the hood or under the dash I had to swap a couple wires, called Chad and we worked through it. So hopefully now it will see the cam and the crank sensor. We'll see if we have RPM signal, Let's see if things run. We're gonna know real quick if we fixed it because the tack will work. So we fixed some problems, but it's still super rich. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, getting closer. RPMs work. That it's seeing that now, so we'll get there. One of these days we'll get there. All right, I didn't uh, video this because I was just doing stuff. So there's his air manifold. He can hook that onto his truck, and uh, his locker will work in the front end. So there you go. Go get her done. All right, I think I'm waiting till Monday to finish this. Kids took up too much time to get anything done, so Monday we'll get cranking on it again and see if we get all the little stuff done and plumbed and hooked up and uh, we'll make it run right. New day, we're back. These guys are here this time though. I was by myself last time. I got some stuff done. I got the grill in it. I got uh, alternator put on it, different stuff like that. Today. We're gonna finish all of that kind of stuff so we can rip to Chad's and get it running better because it's terrible currently. So on the order today, we've got air cleaners. We gotta wire the alternator. We got AC lines that are currently right smack dab in the way. We gotta move those. And heater controls inside we gotta get done. So no shortage of work, we'll get going. What you doing up there? What are you doing? Chasing wires to see where the everything's hooked up so we can make the heater work which it looks like it is except for that one i don't know what that's to it's got a little bit of figuring to do good luck thanks we're gonna need it all right there's that that's built <laughs> How goes the it goes we're we're doing some rerouting here i gotta do some tig welding i gotta cut a line and weld in a new one and lots of fun change right change is good that's what they say i just gotta shorten it and then i gotta cut that off weld it into the end of there recrimp it one hose done then i gotta deal with this one it needs to be just shorter probably it can miss right over the top. All right, <laughs> turns out I'm not having a good day. I got this all welded up as you've seen, but I put the wrong end on, plus I left that nut off, which I didn't really need. I needed to weld this end to there. I don't know what I was doing, but now I'm gonna go ahead, cut this off, weld it on there, and it'll be right.
That's basically mint, right? Say yeah. 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 Yep. Yes, it Thank is. you. You did a good job. Needed some validation, Hunter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well, what'd you learn? We can't find the main hot wire for the blower motor, for the heater, which goes to this one. So we're rigging up dash lights, background lights, to a couple of these gauges. I've got those wired up, and then we're just gonna have to run a new one from the fuse box over there. It works, we probed it, forced power to it, and it, everything works, Ben hooked it up right. We're closer, I'm still like here. position. I'm you're really, you're in. really just in there now. <laughs> I'm here. I'm committed. So, all right. Now I can finish wiring the alternator in, and we can tie all these wires up. Right here. Keys on? Yep. You hear that? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. It's just on your feet right now because we don't have those right. hooked up. Right yeah. So we've got to run vacuum and then make sure we got the doors plugged in, switching the right way. I don't know if we're going to hook these babies up or not, but that'd be the next step. Sweet. We will need that. It's cold. We're trying to make us one of these. We've got to fold it up two ways. I'll go grind it up and then we'll let Paul bend it. He's good at that. We are underway with operation in the box. I may or may not have already screwed up. I did. Run that lever right there. Clear All up. the way? Yep, right there. That's somewhat like we imagined. Let's go see if it. Ooh, Got it. it. Sweet. We'll buff that up just barely and do some vacuuming. We didn't need to bend that bottom one. We should have left it straight. I'm gonna go bend it straight, and then it'll kind of go under. Five minutes later. Mostly clips. Where do you want the holes? Wherever. The higher, the better. How many holes? We've got three vents. Three vents. Come one on each side. Three vents, and then plus one. slits. I think I want to put a couple slits so the AC blows right down there. Yeah. Well, the holes, yeah, for to mount it, I am. I'm talking about. I think I'll just weld a muffler tubing in it that we can clip onto it. Something that size. So, were you going to put another one, or where would the other one even go? Oh, you were going to mount it that. for the He's foot. Put that right on there. We could Slater. definitely do it. We could cut that off and just mount it in there, and it could. Cause it turns inside of that, right? Yeah. You'd aim it anywhere you wanted. That's what I'll do. 
You know, that was rough. Yeah, this is unlike us, really. This is the air conditioner. Usually we wait to work on stuff until it's needful. It's cold outside right now. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set this on here. I even drilled that on the right spot, if you can believe it. Are you gonna expand the the other? Okay. Before we weld these in, we'll expand these to fit that other stuff. All right. That was a little off on my center, but I'm gonna hit this one perfect. Okay, I'm still a bit off, but. <laughs> Once it cools down, I think we can drill some holes in it, put a little silicone on it, and plug it in there. Can you see under there? I wish they were working. We put two rock lights in, one right here, and one right where the camera is, that we're gonna hook in with rock lights, and then we'll have the dome light. We're gonna have a lot of the stuff wired up and working. So when we hit rock lights, these two lights will turn on, light the dash up for filming so Hunter can see because it's dark usually. So that's what I'm working on, boring wiring. Paul's got the heater box made. And so then we'll hook these vents up, have this wires out of the way and the dash should be pretty well wrapped up. All right, pump is mounted. Putting a line on now and then hook it one more spot on the intake. We should be able to fill it up with water. So, perfect. I just crawled out from under there. Let's see if they work. <laughs> They're both on. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tremendous. It's down on the floor where it's not gonna affect your driving either, so. Cool. This thing's getting closer. By the minute, getting closer. Turn my lights on, will ya? Yeah. Oh, look at that, that yeah. makes it a lot easier for that's filming underneath than the here. Flashlight. Put that thing away. So that will fish in there. We're going with that. Should work. And this side, it's gonna work. Test fit it before we glue it, right? Smart. Oh yeah. We'll clean that up and go find some silicone. That'll be the last time we put it on. Pass. I don't think so. No? No. She looking good? She's gonna be looking, pretty sweet. Looking blue. <laughs> there we go. Not bad it's gonna leak. Not bad, I think it'll be alright actually. Right there. Let's uh get some of those hoses down. We'll start running this ducting. Yeah. been working on that side. We got her. <laughs> we ran out of hose clamps. They were the right size. But that one's in. 
far one. So just need to put a hose clamp on that one. And for this one, then we're done. Perfect. Should do heaty things and AC things. And I like the sound of the heat stuff right yeah. now. That'd be nice. So yeah. Cool. Tomorrow we'll finish it. All right. I think everything's done on the intercooler side. Now we'll test this and see if it leaks. That's gonna suck, right? If my my little tank I built leaks. I don't think it will leak. Let's be, that's a way to be optimistic, Land. You can stick around here. I don't see it leaking. Is that like the same cap for a dirt bike? Yeah, it is. It's your old dirt bike radiator. I cut it apart to build this. Oh, <laughs> oh. that's where it went. You luckily, donated luckily to this I cause. I didn't need that anyway. <laughs> yeah, you donated. You didn't know it at the time. Go fill that bad bull full of water for us. Bad boy, not bull. And uh, I'm gonna put power. Actually, I got a ground. I gotta do some wiring under there. We're gonna have to circulate that to fill everything full of water. We're just finishing up the wiring on the pump. She should be done. We'll get this all zip tied up and put up like it needs to be, but that's tomorrow's job. Okay, go in and uh, turn the key on. With any luck. Look in here and see what this does. He's moving. Okay, shut it off. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how this works. We've got this little tank and everything up here. This just goes to the supercharger. It is separate from the radiator system. If you follow me back here. So, right here, this little cooler. This is my supercharger cooler. So, it's got dual fans on it. We're going to wire those to come on with the uh, key as well so that it just has power and everything's good. So we're winning. The tow truck is winning. All right, new day. We're gonna get this thing completely finished today. Well, as far as all the stuff we should have had done, done. And then I'll take it to Chad's on Friday, but you won't see that on this video. So we got air compressor. Yeah, that's the air compressor. We're going to mount it. I think right here where this is, we're gonna take this out of the way, see if it fits. If it does, we're gonna put it there. Then we'll plumb it in and make that all happen. So before we had the air compressor mounted on the motor and it was driven off the motor, we don't have that option anymore. So this is gonna be 12 volt driven. Should keep up with all the air we need. I don't know where to put all that stuff. We'll deal with that. We'll get it somewhere. We're gonna need it, so we'll put it somewhere. I think we got everything else tidied up, right? Inside done? We need hose clamps. Oh, hose clamps. I'll go to Terry's this morning and get some hose clamps. I gotta get some other stuff. Sand anchor, shovel. We still haven't yeah. built our contraption for the back. That's another no. day. We'll build that. We need that. We do need that. But the truck itself will be done today. So. Yep. Cool. You ready to help me? Yep. I need a hand for a minute. Yeah. Okay, that's heavy. Makes room, anyways. That is heavy. You can grab the top. Set it in there. It's all there. So right there. How's this rope? Well, it's tight. It's missing, but when it's all the way up against if the it's side, over, yep. that'd be close. I think it work. It would work. I think we got to take this cover off so we can see the framework to mount the frame. Then we'll set the cover back on. It is heavy. That is heavy, man. Let's see if this will come off of here. We'll have to make angle iron mount to weld to this. I think it should be pretty easy. Wow. It's going to push some air. 
So backwards. we've got to go yeah. backwards. Exactly. That's definitely the spot. Good call, Hunter. That was a good call. It was a good call. <laughs> I think it's going to pump it's some air. Get a move air. <laughs> and you just cut that. We can just push it in. I don't know, then it'll rattle maybe. I guess if you cut it, then we can get this over against where it needs to be, flat. See how far away. And then we can build the parts that we need. Yep, that'll work. That's gonna mount there. It'll be perfect. inches. Let's cut some two inch strap. We'll mount that side. And then we'll build one right here on the front. We can miss that relay. Those are bigger. Those will work. Are these the clampers you were after? Yeah. No, those are big. We got clampers. That's what we was punching out last time, right? Cut a piece of that. We'll all right, so we've needed a shovel numerous times and we never had one, a real one. We've had this little baby one that we carry. We're changing that today. We're gonna weld that mount right there, which that shovel should stay. I don't think it could come out. So I'm gonna grind this up. We're gonna tack that down and then we got a shovel on here. And then I got this. I learned this trick from Rory. It's working. It's yeah. easy. Got myself a sand anchor, or a land anchor. We're gonna get it put on here somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we'll figure out a spot. finished. Now I got to figure out a land anchor and uh, we've got a lot of stuff stacked in a little spot here. Let's see. It's still a little warm but I think it'll fall out. I think it's good. Perfect. But you can get it out so that's what we were after. Now onto the land anchor. What you building, Sean? Two and seven eighths inch shaft. We're gonna put under the corner. Instead of bolt through the fender, we're gonna go up through. If we can weld that down, I'll drill that five sixteenths. We'll tap it three eighths and just thread right into it is the game plan. That looks pretty sanitary, doesn't it? I hope to put it on here and never take it off. Because <laughs> if we take it off, that means we're in a bad, both of the shovel or the, or the sand anchor, that means we've had a bad day. Should be plenty, right? I like that. Let's go see if we can weld it in. I got a plan. Doesn't look like much of a plan, but it's a good one. It's going up there. You like it? That's a lot better spot. I think so too. Okay, got me a bolt. I think we're ready. 
see if we can get it. So there's our corner that we cut through. So we'll be right on top of this airbag. Let's see if it'll line up. Not quite. If you look down there. Can you see threads yet? Yeah. Go back toward or towards passenger. Right back, barely farther. Right there. For sure. Let's see if that'll thread in there. Is it in it? I can't tell. Oh yeah. Is it? There she went. Okay, that's money. So, a weld we're going to get to, and then when we take that out, we'll finish welding it. We're going to make a quick connect so you can just spin a nut off and take the whole thing off in one whack. It'll have these two little tabs that weld up there that keep it from pivoting side to side. A piece of all thread down through the middle, which holds everything else together. Four inches of all thread, that's what I need. Then I'm gonna have to make a cool little tapered washer, because this is on an angle and I want it to pull straight, so, but I'll do that first. Bag doesn't blow out. We'll be good. I got my little spacer built and my piece. I gotta build a lock nut still and then welds together. See my vision? I see it. I'll weld these on an angle so you can just spin it down. It looks like that's plenty tall. I'm gonna actually weld this to that. Doesn't matter, it's got a hole in it, it'll still do its thing. So cool. Now we just gotta weld that to there and we got her. Okay, she's built. And then that should slide over it like so. Now I gotta go build this part. Weld that nut so it's a quick release. She's there. I'll grind those and weld them on on an angle and we'll have it whipped. hot in case you're wondering. Oh. Alright, let's see if we did this right. So, I like it. We have a land anchor, a shovel. We'll finish the air compressor. This thing's ready to go to Chad's. All right, our power cable is built. We'll get it plugged in, fill it full of oil, and we may make air. Then I gotta plumb air up to here. We already have a hole right here. There's a quick connect. We're just gonna use it. All right, it just needs to be that long. That was the perfect piece. 
Oil must be added. Did anyone do that yet? Nope. Should probably at some point put some of that in it before we have a bad day. Good enough. Just got the fourth mount, this front corner welded in. It doesn't wiggle. It's solid. It's solid. And I was able to weld the back side of this one. So I think we'll just leave it in. You know what we ought to do? Let's see if it turns on. <laughs> I took the wire off. You did, we can touch it on there. Yeah, I'll see if it actually uh, makes air. We're gonna run some JIC, like tranny cooler line over here. Put fittings in so it's hug most sanitary, mostly. I'm anxious to see how fast it spins. All right, let's light it. Much air. Wow, it's quiet. It's really quiet. I expected that builds a ton of air. Ain't gonna take long to fill this thing full. I like it. Cool. I guess we can finish it now. <laughs> it works, right? <laughs> we did something right. That's awesome. So by the end of this, we should have heater AC. We still gotta figure out where we're gonna put the, the oil and stuff. The extra spares. Yeah. We'll figure that out though. I gotta find one plug to put in there, and then I'll build a a hose over here out of that braided stuff and this thing should <coughs> build air. Got an airline to it. I gotta get one plug to put right there and then we can see if it builds air or not. But it's time to go eat lunch. What did you make us today? This is for Michelle, it's homemade lasagna. It's for Michelle. It's for you. It's, it's for no one else. I love it. Yeah, it's Ooh. homemade lasagna. Yummy. I hope it's good. If it isn't, I didn't make it. <laughs> Do not. You told me. I don't have you makeup told on. Me. No. <laughs> Just doing what you're told. How is it, Sean? It's good. Ooh. It's delicious. It's good. Yeah. Of course it is. I made it. <laughs> it is delicious. And I am an entitled queen after all. <laughs> <laughs> right. We put clamps on her. Should be good, huh? Let's, let's test her. Blow out. Oh, of those. yeah. Was that of yours? Yeah. The only thing we haven't done is build vacuum to change to defrost or face, but it works, man. That blows a lot blows. of air. Does it? That's a ton of air. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's and that's not even clear closed off because that door's the door's halfway. Yeah, so once we put vacuum to it, it's gonna. That'll be nice in the winter or the summer blowing on you. Freeze you out. That one's gonna be good for your your feet. Passenger's gonna be good, so you did well, fellas. I dig it. It's finally coming together. I gotta put some power back to it, and then we're gonna see how long this thing takes. See if this will actually pump up enough air to do what we need it to. What's your votes, Hunter? I think it's gonna do faster or if not the same as last one which one are you talking about the, the factory one we had in factory. okay all right get your get your watch out We're what was it what was the last one was it a minute and a half ish i think we'll give it two minutes okay
not quite. Less than four minutes. At My gauge says 127. So it's probably 130. Let's see. Is that just the head bleed off? Get an Allen wrench. It's impressive. Four minutes? Yeah. That's way better than the other 12 volt pump. How long did we set with that other one? Eight minutes. Eight, eight minutes and we just stopped. Eight minutes, we're like, we're never getting to where we need to be with this one. Right there. Oh. Whatever that is. Let's go ahead and tighten it. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't tighten it. So it may be a little faster. Probably. <laughs> Next time we'll be Next faster. Time. That's sealed though. That's no leaks. So. Cool. All right. Night shift is over. I didn't film it, but I'll show you what I got done. Air cleaners in it. Had to build a little box over here. It's got a little cold air intake right here in the front. So air cleaners are in it. That should suck enough air to do everything I need. Extra throttle cable for the welder is put on. Things are happening. I think we basically got this wrapped up. Let me show you the inside. So we got AC lines, all plumb, defrost, everything's built. That's all in it. We got our oil, extra oil and stuff goes right there now. And our air compressor is over here, stashed away nice. Our racks up on top, shovels right there. This truck's ready to go. I'm gonna run it to Chad's on Friday and we'll get it running right. Then we'll make a trip to Havasu, throw it on the dyno, show you guys what it makes. We'll have a baseline of what the old one made. We'll go back and see if this one will do any better and if it's more reliable. So I think we're good. So thank you guys for watching.